How do you avoid burning out when crunching? Is there any way beyond being good enough to avoid having to do it too much? Yeah, I mean, the right way to do it is just don't crunch. Um, and I, the way that I would probably say, the way I would probably phrase that is, I don't know that people actually get any more work done when they crunch. Like crunching usually just isn't that useful because, you know, I've never known anyone who like can program at full speed for eight hours a day or can then decide to also program at full speed for 14 hours a day. Like I just, I don't even know like the best programmers I know, they don't do that. So I don't know that crunch like helps at all. I, I do believe that crunch can help for like artists and stuff um, because they can do more uh, in terms of like sort of the work that they have to do to build stuff. They could probably do more and actually get another four hours in or whatever, another six hours in. I still don't think it's a good idea because it's it's very taxing mentally on them and, and I don't think that it, it would make them unhappy, at least I would be unhappy, right? Um, and so I don't think you should still do it, but I can believe that crunching helps certain uh, people, but programming, because it's such a um, decision-based, uh, you're making decisions all the time in programming. There's very little that's rote. Like it's not like I'm gonna paint something and maybe I've painted things like this a lot, so I just gotta, I know how to do this detail work, it's just gonna take a little time, but. I'm not really making a lot of decisions art-wise. There just really isn't that much of that in programming. Um, and so, you know, really you end up in a situation where uh, I, don't, I don't think that programmers get very, get, actually get very effective when they crunch. Um, I do think artists can be effective when they crunch, I just don't think they should. Because, I mean, long-term you have to look at it and go like, are these artists gonna enjoy what they're doing and are they just gonna wanna quit after this? You know, is that really a good idea, you know? Uh, so I, I think in general you should very much try to run uh, your team no matter what it is to never crunch at all and just set realistic goals for yourself and be willing to uh, you know cut things and and do things to make sure that the health of the team is is um, in good shape and that people aren't having to crunch because I think that's very very important and so whoever just said do I think artists are essentially slaves no I don't I think artists are uh, a very important part of the development process and just because there are aspects of their work that they can uh, that they're not making decisions on that that are kind of like uh, are more like um, you know masonry style operations where it's like okay I got to put these bricks together in this way or whatever and I, I know how I'm gonna do it but it's gonna take me a little while um, just because there are aspects of their trade that look like that uh, does not mean that they should get taken advantage of. Like just because you can get more work out of someone by forcing them to crunch doesn't mean you should, right? Um, because again, like I just think that overall the important thing is getting the best work out of everyone over a long period of time. And it's not like focusing on the fact that, oh, we could get this one thing out sooner if people crunch because that takes a mental toll on them. And, and then <clears throat> don't forget, there's tons of important decision-making stuff that does happen in artwork and basically like their mental facilities are now drained when you're forcing them to crunch. And so when you do need them to be thinking hard about a piece of art or making good decisions about a piece of art, they're not gonna be able to do that because you've been working them much too hard, right? Um, and so, yeah. I mean, I, I don't know, I've never run a giant art team or something like on, you know, some kind of like an electronic arts kind of game or that sort of thing. So I don't know, you know, I'm not in a good position to speak about that, but just in terms of, um, when I've worked with people I, and, and from having done artwork myself, I do think there are times when artists can spend more time in a day, decide to crunch and get more stuff done, but I don't think that it leads to good results in the long run. So I don't think it's a good idea. Um, and I definitely don't think it's a good idea for programmers either way, because I think programmers actually don't do more work if you sit them there for 14 hours. They just, they end up making mistakes or they, are staring at the screen like it just doesn't work you want them to get the focused work in do, do it and then go home and re relax and personally i think that works best for everybody artists and programmers um and so yeah that's what i would say and garlando bloom is suggesting that even for straight up physical labor it's rare to get more than six hours of peak productivity from people and yeah i that's probably true right and i just i don't know i think it's i think it's true it seems like that kind of thing. Uh, 
30 hour shifts work for doctors and surgeons and they only have life and death on the line. So, I mean, it's worth noting though, that like uh, 30 hour shifts, first of all, <clears throat> the stuff that they're doing is never new, right? Doctors and surgeons do not create anything. They execute, right? And the most important trait for a doctor or a surgeon is to execute a preordained thing, right? They have, it's like, you want them to do exactly what they're supposed to do, right? They're not tasked with creating new surgeries. If you told them to take 30 hours to create new surgical procedures, I would be shocked if at hour 29, you were getting anything other than garbage ideas out of them, right? Um, that said, even for doctors and surgeons, I seriously doubt that 30 hour shifts is the best way to do that. I do not know why medical professions do that kind of thing. It seems ill-advised, but I think it might be because they need 24 hour day coverage and they haven't figured out any better way to sort that without having people who have to take night shifts all the time or other things like this, right? Uh, but yeah, but I don't think that's at all an argument for crunching. I think, I think that's a, that's a, Definitely a very, very weak uh, arg argument, if, if one at all.